Hey guys, what's up? It's Kyle here from Max Conversion. Today I'm going to be walking us through a before of a roadside assistance company that's in the trucking space. They are they're not doing too bad, um, but there's there's some things that need to be addressed. Um, the one b big thing is going to be the conversion rate. As you can see, in the last 30 days, they've spent five thousand dollars. Their cost per conversion is right about forty five dollars. It's not bad. But they've only gotten 112 leads for five thousand dollars spent so um in this business you know not every lead is going to be a job and so and sometimes you got to drive really far there's insurance there's truck maintenance there's gas to get to the place um you've got to buy inventory so it's it's really tight margins at the moment and so my goal for this campaign is going to be to get that cost per conversion down to 30. Um, and hopefully even lower than that, that we can get it down to 25 and 20 with some work over the next couple months. But the main goal is going to be 30 at the moment. And I'm going to walk you guys through how I might do this. Um, and so, yeah, let's jump into it. So there's really two main campaigns, uh, and it's these two right here, right? And so they, they both have similar spend. The one in Marion has a lower cost per conversion um, than the one in Lebanon. And I've t already taken a look at the campaign and why that is and there's some device bid adjustments that need to happen this one has desktop enabled it shouldn't have desktop enabled especially with roadside assistance because nobody's pulling out their computer when they're broken down on the side of the road and typing in um you know help you know roadside help near me uh, nobody's doing that they're pulling out their phone they're they're doing a google search and they're finding a the company, and they're calling the company for a quote, and then they're calling their dispatcher or their their boss, or if they have their own company, then they don't have to call anyone. And so that's that's what they're doing. Um, and so we're going to want to remove the on this one uh, the computer bid adjustment. And I will show you that here how there's a lot more clicks for mobile, um, but we still are getting clicks for the desktop if it would ever load. All right, so you see here that on computer we have 87 clicks. We've got uh, you know a similar uh, cost per click. We've got some spend here, and we've got a much lower conversion rate. And this conversion rate is not great either. 10% is not great. So that's something that's also going to want to be addressed. Is I'm going to go back to the main campaigns. Is the conversion rate. So the reason why the cost per conversion is so high is not because the the cost per click is high. The cost per click is actually very low. The reason why the cost per conversion is so high is because the conversion rate is low. And that's an indication that the landing page isn't set up correctly, that there can be some work done to it to make it make sure that number bumps up. That way the cost per cost per lead goes down and we get more out of the spend that's already already there. So you get more out of this 5k without really doing without spending more or anything like that. Um, another thing that I've taken a look at. Uh, are the search terms, which the search terms are pretty good and the keywords are pretty good. They're tight, which means that, you know, most of them are phrase match and exact match, which is very, very good. That's what you want is phrase match and exact match, especially in this campaign, because if you start doing broad match, you're going to get you're going to get calls for cars and and other vehicles that you don't want to get calls for. So that's another big thing. Um, something else that I'm going to change is this bid strategy. We're going to change this to probably. Um, We'll probably do uh, the a CPA bid, bid bid strategy, and we don't want maximized clicks because we want to up that conversion rate. So target CPA is going to be a, a really strong bid strategy here, and um, I'm hoping that'll work. You know, it takes takes about two to three weeks to see after the learning phase how it's performing, but I do expect it to to perform better than this maximized clicks. As long as the conversion tracking is set up properly, I briefly took a look at it and it looks like it is. I'll show you guys here. Let's see. Da, 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 da. Conversions. And it looks like everything's pretty set up correctly. We've got the call from ads, which is the ad extension. We've got the phone number clicks, which it should be phone number calls. Um, this should be on the website. Uh, I need to double check if it is on the website. Um, Phone calls on website. So I'm not sure. Um, they're counting uh, directions, which shouldn't be a conversion. So the conversion tracking set up about 50% correctly. Um, so we'll need, to, we'll need to update that to make sure everything's being tracked correctly. That way target CPA works. 
So that's going to be the first few things that I do to change this campaign. And then I'm going to dive into some more, some, some deeper stuff. We're going to look at um, just the ad schedules. When it, when is it performing? Well, we're going to look at, um, we're going to look at uh, the, look at the uh, assets or the extensions, see how those are performing. We're going to look at the locations and see how those are performing as well. And so we're going to do a lot of work around kind of narrowing down what, what they're doing, what's working, what's not working and changing from there. But all, all in an attempt to get this conversion rate up. And that's going to be our main goal. That's going to be the thing that drives more revenue and better growth. Hey guys, what's up? Um, bringing you back to the roadside assistance campaign. This is just a week after we, we launched this campaign. Um, the client called us, he was in distress. He was, was getting a lot of calls, but they weren't very quality. And so I jumped in there, um, gave him an audit, a, a little audit and kind of walked him through what was going on. Um, I previously showed you the before campaign and this is just a week after. We're gonna continue to do a lot of improvements to continue continually lowering the cost per lead, increasing the conversion rate. But so far, this is what we've done to, to do this um, and to, to help this client. And so the first thing that we talked about was the cost per lead being too high. So the cost per lead was previously around $40 and we wanted to get it down to 30. And over this week, we've got it down to $28, which is, which is a great cost per lead right now. And we're gonna continue to improve that. So this client's already getting more, more money out of, out of his budget that he already has. So he's getting more leads for the same amount he's spending, which is awesome, awesome, that's what we want. And so the way we did this was we improved the conversion rate. So previously the conversion rate was around 10 and a half, 11 percent. We upped it to 16 percent. And the way we did this was through a landing page. We updated the landing page. We moved it to a different domain. We increased the speed of the landing page so that when somebody clicks on the Google Ads, they visit the page really, really fast. Um, so it loads really quick. It's got a call to action. It's got a floating button on the bottom, and that's that says call. And it's completely tailored to what the person clicked on the ad. So very, very important. I mean, that's how we improve that conversion rate. And I expect we can get it up to about 20%, maybe even 25%. Um, it varies per industry, but the roadside assistant industry, 20% would be a very, very good target. And so another thing that we did to get the cost per lead down, which is the cost per conversion, is we changed the bidding strategy. So Previously, we had maximized clicks as the bidding strategy, but we didn't want that because maximized clicks is basically, we want everybody to click on our ad, we want as many people to click on our ad, we're trying to get the most for our budget. Um, and so we didn't want that, we want leads. And so we changed it to target CPA, maximize conversions, <clears throat> and set the, the lead price to a low amount. And um, we wanted to get leads around 25 bucks, and so we set the target CPA there. And another thing is that we changed the conversion action. So some of the conversions weren't calculating properly. They were, weren't conversions at all. Uh, we want phone calls. Phone calls, that's all we want for roadside assistance. So we changed the conversion actions so that it was tailored towards only phone calls. So call extensions and calls on the website. That's it. Um, another thing that we did on the back end was listen to these phone calls, right? So we listened to the phone calls. What was the issue? There was a th three main issues. One is just the quality of phone calls. So people calling for things that they don't, the company doesn't service. So like personal cars and and uh, just small, small jobs on cars. So that was one thing. The second thing was the radius. And so the radius is a big thing for roadside assistant companies. Um, they get calls outside the radius just because Google Ads is not perfect. You set a 60 mile radius around us, your, your office location, but you're getting calls outside of the location. You're getting calls um, 80 miles out, you're getting calls 90 miles out. And so that was one of the big things is, and I'll show you here, is the location. So we switched everything from 60 miles to 40 miles around the designated area. And let me select a campaign here. Let me select the Marion location. And so we did, instead of 60 miles, which went out farther, we did 40 miles. And then we also included the counties and cities close by and we we added bid adjustments to those that we wanted close by. Um, and so that really, really helped getting more customers calling you and clo closer so that the customer wouldn't wait as long, that um, the, the roadside assistance company could get there quicker. And they were just overall, it was just quality calls, more money calls, it was better. 
Um, so decreasing that radius was very, very important. And then also excluding the areas. I don't know if this is really necessary, um, but there was a lot of calls coming from, you know, St. Louis that they don't service, uh, you know, Tennessee and, and all these areas. Uh, so what we did was just exclude the areas in hopes that that would reduce the amount of people calling from those areas. Because like I said, Google is not perfect with the location targeting. Sometimes you'll get people out of state and that's just the way it is. Um, and so that's that's two things that we did. Um, let me jump back into the uh, the campaigns. And so, like I said, we changed the bidding strategy. The, 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 the issues were quality of call, the location, and then the types of jobs that they were getting. They were getting jobs for things that they didn't, they didn't want. Um, so we reduced the, we reduced some of the ad groups. We added some ad groups. We added some keywords. And the way we did this was through phrase match keywords. So we didn't want any broad match. We didn't want any, we didn't want any broad match at all. So only, only wanted um, phrase match and exact match. Those are the only two, because when you start adding broad match, you're going to get calls for a whole host of things. You're going to get, you know, a truck, truck stop. You're going to get, uh, you know, a truck shop somewhere where people can shop for trucks. And so you don't want that. You want it all very, very tight, phrase match and exact match. And that's really, really big on these campaigns. So those are, those are, that's how that this campaign was updated in a week. It's already improved a lot. The client is very, very happy, starting to make money again, starting to get jobs. And so it's, it's, it's awesome. It's, um, the landing page is the biggest thing, uh, tightening up the location, changing the bidding strategy. All this helped, helped improve this campaign and get it, get it on track to where it is now. Now I expect it to be continued to improve, um, get a better cost per lead, cost per conversion, sorry, not cost per conversion, uh, conversion rate, um, and just continually expect it to improve um, through adding negative keywords, changing targeting, adding bid adjustments to uh, locations, and so on and so forth. So it's really important that you listen to your calls, um, you, you hear what's going on, and you relay that information back to your Google Ads manager, or if you're managing it yourself, doing taking an action to change what's going on what's what's wrong um because these campaigns can be fixed it's possible so if you're looking for roadside assistance google ads we do it for both trucks as well as cars um, and we can help you so give us a click the link in the bio and we'd be happy to help